All right, Shalom Amakim. Before I get started, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Wa, Harakakwadash. And of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Amakim that are preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. So here's a book that was published by Robin Cook and the book is called Outbreak. Now, of course, you know, you Akim and uh, Akwath, you know, you very well understand, you know, the times that we're in and exactly what this book is about just based off the cover okay and you know we're getting to the time we're coming into the times where you know if you're not in the know if you're not spiritual if and when I say spiritual I mean you know calling upon you, I will buy shimmy, I was shy, you know, um, reading these scriptures, doing what's required of you, if you're not doing just that, if you're not spiritual, okay, you're going to die, all right, you're going to die in these plagues, you're going to die in the famines, okay, you're going to get the chip, all right, somebody might blow your top off, Okay, because there's judgments that the Lord is going to unleash, okay, on the world and two-thirds of our people, all right? You know, there's four kind, as the scripture says, there's famine, there's pestilence, there's wild beasts. And then there's the sword. Okay? And if you're not calling and crying unto Yahweh Bashimi Shai, you know, the Heavenly Father and His Son, if you're not begging them, crying unto them, and doing what you need to be doing as an Israelite, keeping the laws, touch commandments to the best of your ability, you know, just being righteous. Well, you're gonna die if you're not repenting of your sins. You're gonna die. Okay. So pretty much, um, you know, in the uh, opening of this book, it's going into how you know, the elite have an agenda to cause, you know, outbreaks upon the population of the earth and we know that okay and it's it's it's, it's um, quite fascinating how the spirit of the lord you know had me see this book take a picture of it for a lesson and just as i was you know, meditating on the lesson the elder in uh, Texas, you know, Yashawamba, he, uh, he, uh, you know, posted a little, um, clip or image of prayer to pray. All right, brothers need to pray more. Brothers need to always pray. You know, the scriptures say that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Okay, and I'm not sure if it was the same brother, the elder, or another brother, but it was another like, image clip, and how, you know, a lot of plagues are emerging right now, and the plagues that are emerging right now, of course, are being uh, uh, um, unleashed on the people these different vaccines, okay, through the air, all kinds
kinds of um, you know devices that Esau has, okay. But what, which was what was really heavy was, you know, something I thought about over the years, how you know the scriptures go into how people are going to die of famine and and pestilence. But, uh, you know, the, the, the famine and pestilence is going to be caused by these different, you know, outbreaks, man. You know, years ago, I was meditating on, you know, all the uh, clean animals that are out in the wilderness, the wild, so to speak, the woods, the plains, like different clean animals like deer, you know, wild buffalo, if there is any, you know, but deer, elk, they're causing outbreaks to come forth of these animals that are just in the nat in, in nature, man. You know, every year you hear about, you know, 10,000 birds fell out the sky, 20,000 deer uh, 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 died of ticks or, or some kind of uh, virus. Well, that's that's all the doing of this damn devil Esau. Because he wants to starve you people out. He wants to plague you people. And when he break, when he comes down with that great wrath, according to Revelation 12 and 12, okay, he wants to have it to where there ain't no fucking animals out there to him. If you try to go and survive and live off the grid. If you try and go and you know, think you're going to fucking run to the hills and you know, live off the land and hunt deer, you might find some deer that you can eat, that you can hunt. But eating them fucking deer, you know, can cost your life. Because they're talking about this new disease X. How with this new disease X, it's going to be, okay, they're working on something to where these pathogens and viruses are, are, are mutating to the point where they could pass from animal to human, okay? They're saying that the, uh, the symptoms of, of deer and elk that are in the wild, okay, the, the, the C, the C virus, C19, is springing up at a high rate on deer, on wild animals. Okay, so if you think that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to have it that easy to wear bug outs and two thirds and Edomites are going to go and survive in the wilderness, well, that ain't going to be so. Okay, and that's just to, as, just to give you a, a little spiritual snack, okay, so to speak. You know, because we have to be spiritual and understanding that all this is for two thirds in the other nations. Yeah, how about Shai is 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 in a power play right now. Okay, from now on, all right, until we are saved and forever, it's a it's a major power play. The Lord is getting ready to literally move on call a Yabim Nawah. Okay. The Lord is making moves on our enemies at a super high rate right now. Because all these plagues and things that are coming, the judgment, that ain't for us. Okay, that's for two thirds of our people that are rebellious and talk shit, and scoff, and come against Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay, and these other nations, starting with Esau, the so-called white man, the proud devil. So let me get this in 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 37. 
It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. These plagues, different viruses. Okay. They're saying about the disease X, it's not, it's not if, it's when. All right. It's not if, it's when. Okay. It's coming real soon. All right. To a city near you. Okay. It says, as when a young woman, it's lucky, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. And ever since they pushed that, you know, C-19, all right, this world has been in hurt. This world has never recovered, and it's never going to recover. It's just getting worse, and it's going to get worse and worse to the point where you don't need to turn on the TV to hear about the deaths caused. Okay, you're going to walk outside your house or roam around the cities, just like how in, in uh, China, Wuhan, they had uh, perimeters, they had, uh, you know, um, blockades where people couldn't uh, travel, okay, they had that movie uh, Flu, I think it was based in Korea, and you could see people with blood coming out of their fucking face, man, okay, throwing up blood on people, people's flesh uh, uh, falling off their skin, you know, that's what's coming, man, okay, Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn. You see, the world is in mourning right now. And it's been that way. And it's going to get worse. There's going to be more death, mourning, confusion. Okay? And sorrows shall come upon it on every side. On every side, sorrows shall come upon this place. Casualties, loss of life. Okay? This is, O oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. You see? We do these lessons for the elect. Okay? We strive for the elect. Nobody else. To let you know that the Lord is calling you back and there's nothing to fear. Okay? Except fear himself. The king of terrors, Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Alright? But we have nothing to fear. Okay. This is Luke 9 and 1. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all the devils and to cure diseases. You see? So we have nothing to fear. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to give us that power. Okay, to cure diseases, man. Okay. To cast out devils. Alright, to heal people, you know, to defend ourselves, okay, and he sent, and he sent them to preach the kingdom of Yahweh and to heal the sick, you see, that's what we're doing right now, we're preaching the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, alright, and we're looking, you know, for the elect of this word. And when the time comes, we're going to heal people. Right now, we're doing it spiritually through the word. All right? But real soon, it's going to be on a physical level. You see? Because everything's going to get worse, man. They're working on something really dire.
behind the scenes. And they're getting ready to unleash on you people, man. There's going to be a lot of death real soon. So, you know, take heed and, uh, you know, keep on believing. You know, by Shema Shai. You know, and pray. Pray without ceasing. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Har Kakudash.